Hello everyone. Um, uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, I was just uh, working on another uh, edit book. Um, uh, eight three five G seven. It is. Um, th the last repair that I did um, was for a keyboard, and I thought it might be worth um, showing you guys as well. If you wanted to um i mean if if you have a problem with the keyboard and if you wanted to do it yourself um on these newer model um laptops it's not as easy as it looks now so basically what they have done now is that um the keyboard itself is behind this metal frame um and it's been held in place with the um, with like um you could say um like a plastic joint um i mean if i were to pull this it will come off and that's what i wanted to show you that inside um of the um uh, g835 which is the g sort of like the g7 series so g830 835 that that they're probably well they they will be the same on the inside um so yeah i mean um this particular um laptop has got an issue with the trackpad um and the keyboard um is sort of a bit spongy so i'm gonna see if um it's just dirt or something i can you know just clean it up um but just 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 for the sake of showing you guys um how the layout is inside if you wanted to change the keyboard i thought i might as well just uh, do that now um so to remove i've pretty much disassembled everything so i've taken out um, the motherboard i've also taken the trackpad out because uh, i need to look at that as well um but that's your keyboard connection there um so how how we will remove them is that i can see uh, I can't remember how I did that last time. Um, this is just a cover, so there's nothing, there's no screws or anything behind this. <coughs> but if you were to remove this um, shield, you could say, um, you can easily replace the keyboard, put the shield back on, because you do have numerous screws um, that are going to keep it... Um, keep it um sort of like locked down anyway so I'm, I'm not sure why they've done this kind of design but um i guess it's um it's um one of those ones that all the companies are doing now it's to make it <laughs> even more difficult for you to repair um so bear with me while i Try to see how I did remove. I think obviously it did take me a bit of force to sort of get it going. But once you get going, um, then it, it should come off pretty easily. Um, sorry, I will just put the camera there. Um, hopefully you can see it. It's a... It might not be straight on the camera, it's just um, the way I put the camera. So I'm going to see if I can break a few of these. Yeah, so it's, it's just like, you could sort of say plastic welding. The aim is to break a few get in there and um, lift it off I think what might work is getting a screwdriver in 
probably something better than mine. I've just got this little one. Um, I just grabbed whatever I could. Um, yep, there we go. So just carefully, just under the tabs. Uh, yeah, it's just, um, if you do go down the route of using a screwdriver, it's just, um, just be careful because obviously the keyboard's down. I mean, if it's damaged and if it's not working, then you can probably not worry about getting it damaged if it's, As you can see, it's uh, not the easiest part, but I'm doing it slowly because I, I don't want to damage the keyboard because the keyboard actually works. My apologies if, um, if you can't see, but yeah, I mean, it's just like there's a layer um, of metal here. I'm going to try to force it now so I can get it. Oh, right. I've just noticed. Um the metal goes under the hinge that means that the hinge needs to be lifted as well yes that's the reason why i was not able to um I, 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 I guess last time I did it, I must have removed the hinges and I just must have forgotten that um, the hinges are going to be in the way. Um, two screws um, on the right side, um, but it's four screws on on the other Just gonna uh, yeah some of the I think um some of the screws are not easy to get out but I think um the the, the tool that I have at the moment um is not doing me justice why won't the hinge lift it does seem to move i was thinking if it if i was able to move it up Oh yes. Oh, so best is to lift up a bit and it pops up. Right. Okay. So, um, we should be able to get the metal piece out now. Um, yep. I can, uh, see the black dots and um, be very careful i literally just um, was about to damage that 
so gently if you keep going from both sides i'm gonna just uh, pop the cable through so it's not in the in the way um the the metal is bending but um i'll i'll see if i can uh, get it straightened later it definitely doesn't look and sound good um, so that's how it comes out but um obviously i've got like a straightening machine so i can get that straightened out um, right so um so we should now have access to um to the keyboard and if we lift this up we should simply have oh yes right it's better to so as you know that there's a Obviously more tabs holding down the keyboard or oh, the oh god so much wow um that's a filthy keyboard um but yeah so this is how the keyboard will um, come out obviously the installation of a new keyboard will be reversed I'm so sorry about the mess here um but yeah just just so you know this is how you would have to um remove the keyboard if you wanted to replace on one of these hp elite books um this particular model is a a35 g7 which has got the amd processor 4000 series thank you for watching bye bye